The following video showcases the views and opinions of young adults from the age group of 9 to 18 years. This is an attempt to get students to speak about issues that are close to their heart. Watch and get a glimpse of what the future of India is thinking and where is India's youth headed. Viewers are requested to consider the student's age before judging and voting. We are aware of the section of the society which underestimates women. And we also know that there is a section of women who feel they are not good enough and have self low and have low esteem. Today, I am going to throw a light on the section of the society which feels women are inferior to men. I am Madhura Desai from Salapur and I am here to talk on women empowerment. In ancient India, women received lower status than men. The society thought that the woman can only bear children, take care of them and do household work. And the woman even felt that there is no world beyond for them than this. But there were some women who raised their voice and also some men who supported them. Savitri Bai Phule, the Indian social reformer, educationist and the first female teacher. Because of her, today girls in India go to school. Ramabai Ranade, social, woman social right activist in 19th century. First woman doctor from India, Anandi Bai Joshi. These were the torch bearers who empowered women in ancient India. Soon, there is no thing left which women could not do. More the people said, ye ladki hai, kya kar legi? More the woman bounced like a phonics stronger than ever. There are many like this woman who again and again came up and told the world that we can do anything. Women started to break the stereotypes. Bhavani Kasuri, the first woman to lead a parade full of men on 26 January 2019. This was a proud moment for me. Soon the women started to play a prominent role in developing the society. But are the overall condition of women good? Are they treated equally? Are they safe in India? No. Number of rapes, domestic violence, killing the women for dowry are increasing day by day. I respect those men who respect women, but still there are some men who feel women cannot be independent. Still there are many villages in India where educating girls is considered a sin. There are still many villages where menstruation is a taboo. In fact, this is a cycle where the whole world depends on. There are still many people who treat women inhumanly, killing the woman only because she gives birth to a baby girl. The lowest step towards mankind. When a boy cries, what do people say? Ladki hai kya? Ladkiyo ki tarah matro. Now, crying is an emotional tendency of every human being whenever he feels hurted. Where the discrimination does come here? India has become one of the dangerous countries for women to leave. How did this happen? Not overnight, definitely. To overcome these all problems, women should learn to be strong, learn self-defense, trust themselves. Education plays a prominent role in this. I think parents should teach their girls not to be beautiful. They should teach their girls should to be bold and strong. When a girl is physically assaulted, the society blames the girls for causing her limits. But what about but what about a two-year-old girl in Kashmir who was raped and murdered? This highlights the problem of the thought process of men in the society. So, I see that there will be a morning where all the women in India will be educated and the whole the country will develop and every woman will proudly say, I am a woman. Thank you. I hope you like my talk. Do share and vote. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.